There we go. All right. Hi, everybody. So we're here with Mike, Mark Klein, excuse me, Mark, and he's from the class of 1983, SLU High, and also our representative, our admissions representative for Truman State. And so I want to welcome Mark and say hi. Hello. Hello. Um, and I, I like to start these interviews out with just giving us a general overview of Truman, kind of the 20,000 foot view of Truman State. Sure. Truman State University, um, the easiest way and the, the most important thing is to think about, number one, we are distinct by design. So what does that mean? It means that we are a public school with a private school feel. We are a smaller public school and we're doing these things by design. We are a school of about 4,400 full-time undergraduate students. So what that gives you is an average freshman class size and I say that word emphasized freshman class size of 25 with a student to faculty ratio of 14 to one. So just like there at the U High where you get to know your faculty walking down the hall or coming to your athletic or, or athletic or extracurricular events or you know your counselors, you just walk in and you say hi. And even to this day, I am still friends with some of my teachers from you know way back when. Um, it's the same way at Truman State University. You see your faculty from day one as a freshman. We have no graduate assistants. So you will see them from day one and all the way through your four year career. So it's important to keep that in mind. That makes us distinct. We only offer 49 or so different majors on campus. We don't wanna offer 75 to 100. We want to do 49 majors, we do 49 majors, we do them very well. And that's another thing. We don't have just one or two majors, students in each major. We are very distinct that way. We are, we are limited, but we are focused. Some of our hot, top majors, um, business administration with emphasis in marketing management, uh, econ, finance, entrepreneurial, international, that's realistically our biggest program on campus. We have a very strong biology, in particular biology pre-med, pre-vet program. That's probably number two, though you're gonna get some arguments there. Um, psychology is very big on our campus. English is very big on our campus. Our health and exercise science program is very big on our campus. Sociology, um, political science, history. We have a distinct communication disorder and we also have a linguistics program on our campus. We offer many different foreign languages, whether there is majors or minors, and we offer study abroad across our entire academic spectrum. So you can go anywhere in the world in reality, not just, and I, I pick on St. Louis University, not just a campus in Madrid, Spain, you could go worldwide. Uh, we also, also offer many different pre-professional programs. We offer a master's of education for both element, for elementary, secondary, and special ed. We offer a very strong top-notch pre-law program for students that want to go to the law and then move beyond. And that can be encompassing any realistic major. Pre-med, we mentioned under biology, we have an athletic, we have a master's of athletic training program on our campus. So many students will move through our health or exercise science program for the athletic training area. Uh, we have a full accounting program, including a master's in accounting. So you could do that directly on our campus. Um, those are some of the big majors, you know, but we have English, we have theater, we have music. Um, like I said, sociology, we have philosophy, religion. Um, I mean, we, we have a wide range, but we're very focused. We want to, we want to stay focused and narrowed in. Kirksville, Missouri, about three hours from St. Louis. Um, I live out here in St. Peter's, so I am a St. Louis resident as well. It is three hours from my driveway to campus. No matter whether I go through Hannibal or through Columbia, it's three hours. So depending upon where you live in this St. Louis area, maximum you're talking about is three and a half hours um, or how far you live off of the major interstate. What are we looking for in our students? Um, for, I'm gonna give you a, a couple big pictures. One of the things that we are looking for in our students, in our student body, if you will, is activities involvement. 
I know down at St. Louis U High, you guys have all kinds of activities, whether it be intramurals or whether it be varsity sports or whether it be the music or the theater department. Um, I remember the senior follies when I was a senior. I mean, just all kinds of things. You have lots of religious organizations. We have all the same thing. We have over 230 different groups, clubs, and organizations on our campus for our students to get involved in. So we want active members of our campus outside of the classroom, just like St. Louis U High does. You know, I remember when I was a student, it was, we go to class, you know, seven or, or eight to three thirty or whatever it was every day. And then it was amazing how many students stuck around on campus until five or five thirty or six o'clock doing different clubs and organizations. Half of them I didn't even knew existed. So, that's what we're looking for in our students. I wanted to ask you a little bit about that, Mark. What about weekend? When you say students sticking around, I think about weekends, you know, weekends mm -hmm. in Huntsville and weekends on campus. What is, what is campus like and residential like, life like over the weekends? Sure. First and foremost, freshmen are required to live on campus. So that's a requirement. Beginning your sophomore year, you may move off campus, though about 60% stay on campus. Mm -hmm. We are NCAA Division II athletics. So athletics become a big part of any smaller school in a smaller community. Um, again, you guys, I remember the fans, and I've been to athletic events for St. Louis U High. The fans in the stands are the crazy guys. Mm -hmm. And that's what's cool, and that's what is – parlayed here at Truman State University. So sticking around for the basketball, football, soccer, volleyball games, softball and baseball games, those are things that are going on. We also have, you know, our student activity board brings guests on campus, whether it be a concert, a comedian, a guest lecture or whatever. Many of the different groups and clubs will do things on weekends. Now this semester has been a little bit more difficult because of COVID-19, but those are the big events. Plus, six miles away, there is Thousand Hill State Park, where you can go hiking, you can go biking, you can go rent a kayak, um, you can go fishing, you can go swimming. Um, you know, on campus, I just thought ultimate Frisbee is a big thing on our campus. So there's lots to do both on campus as well as in the community. Um, you know, Tuesday night, every Tuesday night, trivia night, Wednesday night is karaoke night, Thursday night is game board night. So there's always things to do on campus, whether it be on the weekend or during the middle of the week. When we're as small as we are in Kirksville, uh, the school, the activities, the groups, clubs, they focus things on weekends specifically for that reason. Mm -hmm. What about, um, what about Greek life? We have 12 fraternities on campus. Um, we have 10 national sororities as well. Uh, the, the Greeks do have their own houses off campus. Um, it is not for a small school. It is, it is a player, but not a major player of extracurricular activity. Meaning between the 22, whether the 10 and 12, we only have about 20% of our students are involved in the Greek system. So, it's not like go Greek or go home type deal. Um, you can get involved. It's a great thing to do. But the Greeks on our campus understand they are a part of the Truman State community as well. Wonderful. And that, I think, is something different for Truman State versus, you know, big XYZ school where the Greek system is their own little deal. And, you know, we don't play by those rules. I mean, you can see earlier in this year how many – COVID cases came out of fraternity and sorority, the Greek life off campus. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a great part. It's a great thing to do, but it's not like it overwhelms people. Wonderful. What about Truman's relationship with Stillman? I got the summer um, information because that's such a vibrant, wonderful program for students interested in the health sciences, and that's for undergraduates. And Mr. O'Keefe, for those of you that are juniors, uh, medical careers will, will have information on that. Um, what about your relationship with Stillman, and how does that come into play with health sciences? The, the AT Still College of Osteopathic yeah. Medicine. Yeah. We do a program conjunction with them, and I'm going to be honest, I don't know a whole lot about the program, but I know enough to be dangerous. Okay, sure. Um, it is a program that is a summer program. 
and it's kind of co-sponsored because it is held on Truman's campus that we can show and share with the students the liberal arts and breaking into Kirksville and all those types of things. Mm -hmm. But also uh, AT still is a part of it because they want to show the medical profession field mm -hmm. and how to get into it, benefits of it, multiple facets of the medical field. It's not just being a doctor. Mm -hmm. um, and so it is a really, really good summer program for students who have a uh, an inclination that science slash medicine might be my calling, but I'm just not sure what aspect of it that I want to do. Wonderful. It's just one of the earliest deadlines. So I like to get it on students yep. that, are, uh, that are interested in exploring health sciences. Sure. What about campus traditions, things that um, Truman graduates will know as things we do at Truman? Uh <laughs> Being a non-Truman alum, I've heard of these stories. Okay. Um, I have not experienced them, but I have heard of them. One, Truman students will always remember Zombie Week. Okay. Um, to, again, maybe do it the exception of this fall. Two is resident hall battles. Um, every resident hall on, yeah, every resident hall on campus is designated a color and generally some type of fruit. <laughs> okay. And during Truman Week, they, uh, you will ask Truman alum, and they still have that specific color sock. Right. Or whatever the, you know, they still have the, the doll if they're the, if they're the bears or the bananas or whatever. So those two things, the, you know, what is your color and your mascot, if you will, of your resident hall and zombie week would probably be the two big ones that every Truman alum will remember. <laughs> now, from a, from a food perspective, I'll throw this in real quick. From a food perspective, they will all remember Pegley eyes. Okay. Uh, it's the, it's a pizza runs a place up on the corner in the square, <coughs> excuse me. They've been around since the mid 60s, 63, 64. And I, I will admit it's good pizza and it's really good runs. And alumni will come back, buy them, bring it home frozen, throw them in the freezer and have them later on. So those big three things. Those are great. What about scholarships and I want, in, including all the way up to your Pershing Scholars Program? Sure. When we talk about, um, our true merits, well, let's talk about all of our scholarships. First, the automatic scholarships. And let me ask you real quick, are you guys doing the A-plus program or do students have that option? No, we don't. Okay, all right. So the first automatic, the scholarship that we will look at is our true merit academic scholarship. And that is based a combination of a GPA and an ACT. Okay. And I'm gonna, you're not gonna see this really well and I apologize. But it looks like, you're not even going to see it, kind of. Let me see if we can do it. It looks like a grid. It is a grid. It doesn't look like. And that, across the top horizontal I is GP, the, or is your AC? Thompson office, too. So students can come in and, and see that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not, yeah. So that's the first True Merit Automatic Scholarship. Let me also set, touch on this for a minute. We, um, we will super score ACTs now. Okay, great. We will adjust your grade, pan, grade point average through seven semesters. Mm -hmm. So we can do that. We will adjust ACT through April of your senior year. Okay. So all of those options are available, available to increase your True Merit Automatic Scholarship. Okay. From other automatic scholarships, since you don't do the A+, we don't worry about it. Um, the other two big ones, Potentially would be the legacy scholarship. If you had a mother or a father, or a parent graduate from Truman State, it's an automatic thousand dollars on top of the True Merit Scholarship. Uh, we also offer veteran benefits, whether they're active or retired. Um, they can utilize veteran benefits for tuition as well. Again, stacked on top of. Those are our automatics. Then we go to our competitive scholarships. Backing up your application file has five pieces of information in it. One, your application, free, common, or Truman app. Two, your transcripts. Three, 
for juniors, ACT test score for seniors. We're going to talk about our test flexible option in just a second. Four year essay and five year activity resume. And even though you may qualify for our automatic admission based upon a GPA and ACT, we require the essay and the activity resume for competitive scholarships. So I tell everybody, just do it with your application. Let's talk about test flexible for the fall of 21 very quickly. We are test flexible this year. So a student can apply to Truman State without or with a lower than they hoped ACT score. They would tr apply through the Truman app or we could send them the test flexible form. They fill that out. We could admit them without that or again with the lower score based upon their GPA, their essay, their activity resume. We will not offer them a true merit scholarship until the holistic review happens beginning in December, which is the same time the competitive scholarship review starts. The flexibility part comes in where if that student takes the ACT in the interim or again through April of their senior year, so April 2021, and their new or first ACT score will potentially bump them into or up to the next level of true merit scholarship that we've already offered, we will offer them the higher one. Okay. So the flexibility goes to the student that sure. if they want to submit it, they can. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay. You're okay. welcome. So um, now going back to the competitive scholarships. They are strongly built upon and strongly based upon your essay and your activity resume, minus maybe the John Pershing, and we'll get to that. They are a leader, primarily they're based upon leadership, service, uh, volunteer work type stuff. Again, your senior project that I remember doing, I, I have very vivid, one of the best experiences of my life was my senior project that I did in January. That would be beautiful things to put on your activity resume, along with everything else that you do in your high school years. It does not have to be through the U High. It could be through your church. It could be through the Boy Scouts. It could be through whatever. Um, you can do all that on your resume. They range, you know, your basic ones. We have Missouri State Boys and Girls. We have Presidential Honorary, Presidential Leadership, um, and one or two others. They're all listed on the website. They range anywhere from a thousand up to seven thousand dollars. I've seen in the competitive scholarships, but there's no criteria for each. It's just a matter of the essay and the activity resume, along with obviously the whole thing. Our top two academic scholarships, which again are competitive and may uh, need an additional essay or maybe an interview. The top one is the General John J. Pershing Scholarship. That is full tuition, room and board, um, including stipend to do study abroad for your four years. And then the Harry S. Truman Award, which is $10,000, again, with other opportunities for study abroad stipend and things like that. Um, those will also include GPA, ACT consideration to be considered for those. Those are not automatics. Those both, again, will either require an additional essay or especially for the Pershing, either on campus or Zoom interviews like we're doing now. Right. And so for those that are listening, if you're interested you know, in finding out more about that program, we do have a SLU alum who's a current Pershing scholar on the Truman campus now. So reach out to college counseling and we will put you in touch with uh, Charlie Peterson because he is very happy and just has encouraged all of you to apply and he could provide you with more information about that. So, yep. well, Mark, anything else you would like to add? One of the questions you asked before we went on camera um, is the, the religious aspect of Truman State. Mm -hmm. um, we are a public institution. So I always have to be careful of how I phrase this because I've worked at other religious affiliated institutions. But Truman State University feels very much like a religious affiliated school. Mm -hmm. um, I will upfront say that. We have spe specifying with our Catholic faith. Um, we have a very, very active Newman Center. 
Um, it is ranked, I believe, in the top 15 or top 15 percent of all Newman centers on campus um, or, or in the United States. Um, very, very active both in the community and in the county of Adair, which is the county we are in. Um, they offered the regular masses and retreats and all those types of things. But so much more, there is Bible study, there's group meetings, both on campus or over at the Newman Center. The other great part about Truman State, being that feeling of a community of, of a Christian or a religious-backed school, and again, I think this also makes us distinct by design, we offer and we welcome all students. And so being a public institution, you will run into, especially in dealing with the religious aspects, students of other faiths and other denominations. And I can tell you on my behalf, coming out of the U High, going to a, a religious affiliated school that was not Catholic, it made me grow in my faith. It made me think about my faith and it actually strengthen my faith by being around students who were not all of my faith, um, you know, which is Catholic. I'll be open and honest about that. And so I think that's something that um, in today's world of inclusion and diversity, that's something that I think is makes SLU students, you high students, I, number one, I think it puts them above the, the, the grid and above the average, but also Think about that when you're coming, but hopefully to Truman State, learn from other experiences, learn from other people, learn from people from different backgrounds, religious backgrounds, et cetera, because it will strengthen your own faith as much as you will learn from others. Um, I think that's number one. Another thing I want to point out, you can see this number one over here behind me. Um, for 24 years in a row now, U.S. News and World Report has ranked Truman State number one best buy in the Midwest region. So best value for your dollar. And, you know, that Midwest region, Missouri, Iowa, Illinois, Michigan, Wisconsin, Indiana, some really, really top schools there. Um, we're number one best value, which means they look at student satisfaction, student engagement, be, these are all surveys, retention, graduation rates, salary of graduates, things like that, compared to your price that you pay, not our sticker price, but the price that you pay. 24 years in a row, we've been ranked number one. This year, we moved from number nine to number seven, seven, number seven school in that same region. Okay, wonderful. The only public school in the top 10. Wow. Wow. which puts us above U of I, University of Michigan, et cetera. Um, so when you look at our cost, when you look at our sticker price of 18.5, minus the scholarships that you will receive coming out of the U high, I can tell you with confidence that you and your parents may be paying less to go to Truman State University than what you're paying to go to St. Louis U high. And that includes living on campus, your full meal, your room board, everything. You're going to lose some juniors, but you can't graduate early from the U.S. Exactly. Exactly. So, but don't think it's, don't think we're cheap and don't think you're not getting the value because for 24 years in a row, U.S. News and World Report has shown us to be the best value. Right. And yep. so I think that's something I wanted to throw out there. Thank you so much. And I appreciate your time. And I just appreciate being able to build this video library for our families. And they will have this sure. for our juniors next year. And if they anybody has any questions, again, I am a local. I'm down here in the St. Louis area. Above me in the blue box is my email address, my cell phone number. Feel free to reach out to me at any point in time. I'm on the website as well. Um, I am here in St. Louis. I am doing personal individual Zoom meetings with families in the evenings if they want to do that. Or once all this breaks, I am always happy to go meet you at Breadco um, and, and do individual meetings that way as well. And you never know, I might see somebody at a, at a playoff game for you know one of the different sports as well. That's right. Well, thank you so much, Mark. I appreciate your time. You're more than welcome. You guys have a great rest of the day and good luck with everything. Thank you. 
So I 